Show. I'm your host, Henry David Thoreau. Tonight we have a special guest, George Ripley. Also make sure to go check out my new written piece, Civil Disobedience, where I discuss the principles of transcendentalism, a f philosophical movement led by Ralph Waldo Emerson, and I emphasize the significance of prioritizing one's conscience over the dictates of written law. I also include criticisms about immoral American institutions and endeavors, such as slavery and the Mexican-American War. Please welcome George Ripley. Hey, Henry. So, tell us what a little bit about Brook Farm. Well, right now, we're, we have about 70 members on a 175-acre farm, and it's just going really nicely. So, what, what do you guys do during the day? Well, we wake up at around 6 a.m., and then we have some breakfast, and then we just get right to work. Uh, now, what do you mean by work? Well, each member does some sort of physical labor every day, and so we can help sustain the farm and just make ourselves better. Wow, George, that sounds great. What do you do after work? Well, after work, you know, we want to make it a fun place. Uh, we uh, play some music. We read some books. We even skate sometimes. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, anyone famous living in your community? Right now, we have Nathaniel Hawthorne, Margaret Fuller, mm. And, of course, the great Ralph Waldo Emerson. Wow, George, sounds like a great group of people. Yeah, it really is a great group of uh, men and women. Now, I understand this is all coming off this recent transcendentalism trend? Yes, there's about five tenets of uh, transcendentalism. Say, George, I'm pretty thirsty. Would you like some Poland Spring? Oh, of course. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. All right, we'll be back right after the break. There are over 358 million trillion gallons of water on Earth. But not all water is created equal. Only one billionth of one percent is filtered naturally beneath the Earth, with a distinct balance of minerals, and emerges crisp and refreshing enough to be called Poland Spring. Poland Spring 100% natural spring water, born better. Hello, we're back. Um, and what were those five tenets, George? Oh, uh, the five tenets are self-reliance, non-conformity, the importance of nature, intuition over reasoning, and of course, just living a simple life. Damn, George, that's a lot of stuff to live by. Excuse me, Henry, but Brook Farm wasn't all that great. Uh, Who might you be? It is I, John Humphrey Noyes, the fan of the Oneida community. The what? The Oneida community, what, you've never heard of it before? I mean, it blows this Brook Farm stuff out of the water. How so? Well, first of all, we believe in Christian perfection. I mean, did, did you know Jesus came back to Earth in AD 70? Excuse me? So you're a Mormon? Oh, hell no. We're not one of those weirdos. We're also not one of those capitalist pigs, you know, having to pay in to get one of our communities. So you're a socialist as well? Of course. How else can we seize the means of production? We manufacture silverware and soles for shoes, for God's sakes. Really? Yes. We also uh, hold meetings so that we can move stupid and undesirable traits from our great society. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that the opposite of individualism, Mr. Newis? Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, I think that's going to wrap up tonight's segment of My Did You Look Good Man. Minimum wage! Yeah!